I'm just making a quick video to update you on my bulk. So right now, if I actually measure myself, let me just flip the camera. You can see that I'm about, what's that? 76 kilos. But I'm not exactly 76 kilos cause I just finished eating food. And obviously when you finish eating food, you feel, you feel bloated and most of the weight is from that food. So if you say you minus about two kilos plus all of the clothes I'm wearing, I'm roughly around 74 kilos, 74 kilos and like 500 grams. So 74.5 kilos. And as I mentioned previously, one of my videos, I think it was the bicep video. My goal right now is to hit 77 kilos by the end of the year. So I am on track for that. But what I'll be showing you in this video right now is how I actually go about bulking. And I've actually showed you this protein or bulk blend in one of my older videos. And I'll just flip the camera to show you all of the ingredients. These are all of the ingredients. Oats, about 120 grams. You can use any types of oats. I just use whatever I found. And then that's around 450 calories and say 15 grams of protein. Then peanut butter, I like to add that around 90 grams, which is around 500 calories and 20 grams of protein. And all of these, these measurements will be in the description. I also use a 32 ounce, OZ ounce, I think that means. 32 ounce cup, not sure what that converts to in milliliters. <clears throat> Obviously you've got your creatine, which is mandatory made a video on that so it add about five grams of creatine a banana this banana is not looking too healthy but it will do and then also yeah whey protein you can also use any type of whey protein i'd recommend something plain like vanilla because you don't want the, the flavors interfering too much and you want it to actually taste good but if you're thinking this will be too thick or it'll be it'll taste weird for me it just tastes like porridge and that's why i like to drink it i've made it to a point of where it is good for me, so I can just drink this every day or whenever I feel like it, or whenever I'm lacking on calories. And obviously you want a measuring scale to weigh all of the ingredients up to what this sheet of paper shows you here. Now, you can see how I've calculated this with water or with full fat milk. I personally use water because milk is estrogenic. It's not inherently estrogenic, but the commercial milk that you usually buy from all of these supermarkets is probably estrogenic because of the way it's been produced that's why i just prefer to use water instead so what you want to start off by doing is obviously grabbing your cup you want to turn on the scale and then you just place your cup on the scale and you can see how the the weight of the cup is being displayed obviously you don't want that to be included so you just click you click the zero out and that basically ignores the weight of the cup. You wanna add 120 grams of oats. So you just open the oats bag. There, that's about 120. And then you zero it out again for the next ingredient that you're going to add. Let's just do the creatine because it's right here. And then this scoop of creatine, this brand right here, each scoop is about three grams. What I like to do is I have to take the whole scoop with a small mountain on top to ensure that it's actually five grams. But obviously the scale will detect it as well. There's seven, eight grams, that should be fine. Obviously you want to be taking five grams, but if you go a bit over, it doesn't really make a, it's not really the end of the world. So now you can just add in the banana. I'm just going to add the protein, so 50 grams, each scoop of protein is about 25 grams. So then 50 grams is two scoops of protein, so that's one, and then one more, two. That's the protein done, so the only thing I've got left now is the peanut butter and the water I'm going to add. Now if your peanut butter looks like mine, this is all of the oil on top, you don't want to be pouring this out because if you pour it out, it'll just turn really dry. So you want to mix it all in. Now you want to zero this out again. And obviously you can use any type of peanut butter. So as I said here, it shows, or what I've written down at least is 90 grams. So I should be able to put that in. It went a bit over to 100 grams, but 
doesn't matter extra calories extra protein i guess so now what we want to do is you want to add all of the water zero it out again now if you didn't know milliliters so the way you measure liquid and grams are actually equal so i didn't actually know this but you want to add 300 mils Just let the water sink to the bottom and then continue adding it and obviously you wouldn't drink all of this in one sitting because this is 1000 plus calories you just sip it throughout the day that's basically 300 mils on the dot so now what you do want to do is just put the blender lid on should be enough let it sit for a while now when you take off the lid you don't want to waste too much of the the blend on the rotors so you just let it sit like this just let it balance so all of it can drip out for about i don't know maybe a couple minutes but as i mentioned previously you don't want to be having this every day or have it you can have it every day if you want depending on what your your bulking goals are I just prefer to have it every other day, for example, because I'm on a heavy, heavy bulk. I've still got two, three months to actually gain the two and a half kilos I'm looking to gain. So I'm in no, I'm in no rush because I'm on track. But let me just give it a quick taste test. I like it. Obviously, if you don't want it as thick as how thick I've made it, you can see how thick that is roughly. You can adjust the amount of water or milk, whatever you want, whatever liquid you want to add. Adjust how much you want it, depending on the consistency or the thickness of it. But I hope this video helped. Make sure you like and subscribe and chat to you later.